there, Jane here with Cooking Up a Storm again, and today I'm going to show you how to properly prep mushroom caps to make stuffed mushrooms. A lot of people think all you gotta do is just wipe them off, take the stems out and throw them on and fill them and bake them. A couple reasons why you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna show you a good way to get your stuffed mushrooms ready to go. So the first thing that I, you wanna do is clean the tops of your mushrooms. And if you have some that are, you know, just a little bit dirty, you can use a dry paper towel and just wipe all that little bit of excess dirt off of them. But if you happen to have one that has a little bit more, you might want to use a damp paper towel to do that. And that will just help remove that dirt that they grow in. Okay, now the reason why I'm using a damp paper towel is you don't ever want to take mushrooms and submerge them in water to wash them. Now I know some people say it's fine to scrub them with a little scrub brush and as long as you're gonna cook them right away, that's fine. But a lot of people will take them and actually submerge them. Mushrooms are real porous. So they're gonna take on that excess moisture and you don't want that to happen because you're gonna run into a problem when you're baking them, which we're gonna talk about here in just a second. So once you get your mushroom caps nice and cleaned off, you wanna just go ahead and pop the stems off of them. Save the stems, because most often your recipe is gonna call for you to chop those up and use them as part of your recipe. Now that we have our mushrooms all cleaned off, what I'm going to do is just take a little spoon and I'm going to want to remove the fins or the gills from your mushroom. This is a step that a lot of people skip over, but it's really kind of an important one because these have kind of a bitter flavor to them, especially if you're using the baby bellas like we're using today. And you just wanna scoop that out of there because you don't wanna have that bitter flavor. Another advantage, of course, to scooping these out too, is that it's going to give you a little more room for whatever yummy, delicious stuffing you are putting into your stuffed mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop out a couple here. And then what I like to do to give my stuffed mushrooms just a little extra flavor is I like to take a clove of garlic and just press it into a little bit of olive oil. And Mix it around, and then I like to brush the tops of the mushrooms with a little bit of that garlic. And then we're gonna take our mushrooms and place them onto a baking sheet. And once you have them ready there, you're going to go, oops, that one wasn't clean, do this one. Once you have all your mushrooms onto your baking sheet, you're gonna to wanna to put them into an oven at about 450 degrees and just par bake them for about five, 10 minutes. What that's gonna do is draw out that initial moisture from your mushrooms. So then when you take them out of the oven, you can fill them, put them back on a fresh baking sheet, and then when you're actually baking them to serve, they're going to not be baking in this pool of water, basically. So it's really important to par bake your mushrooms in advance. That way you're not gonna have. So here is all that excess moisture that I was talking about. Now imagine if you had these flipped up the right way and stuffed and you had them baking in all of that moisture. What you're gonna end up with is real soggy mushrooms. So now that we have that initial bit of moisture baked off on these, we can go ahead and stuff them, put them on a new sheet, and you're not gonna have your stuffed mushrooms baking in a bunch of excess moisture.